This is my piano. It's a Core D1 digital piano. It has audio line, MIDI out, 10 instruments, metronome, couple of sound effects, you know, basic. Hold up. Isn't this the same intro as last time? You bet it is. I've decided to spend 2022 in piano rehabilitation. Yatta! I want to document my journey through vlogs on YouTube to share the experience and to keep as a record for my own reference. Yambarimasu! Who knows, my failures might make good content and entertainment for all of you watching. If you would like to follow along the journey, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to like this video. In my last vlog, I talked about playing on an acoustic piano. If you have not watched it, I implore you to give it a watch because I went on a wild adventure across Kyoto City searching for acoustic pianos. Anyway, I have moved to the GTA! Not that GTA. Not that one either. This one! I have been to Tokyo on a number of occasions, so I'm quite familiar with the infamous insanity. And I know it may cost me a bit, but I kind of want to try one of those piano studios. Ooh. I'm in a big city now. Everything is new and exciting. I thought it would be a fun way to explore my area. I don't know. I'm probably just throwing my money away for content. Let's find a studio. Here's a quick breakdown of my process to finding a piano practice studio in Tokyo. For starters, Tokyo is huge! There are, what, 23 wards? Tokyo is less of a city and more of a state in my opinion. The point is, we need to narrow our scope a bit, so let's pick Ikebukuro Station. Here. I can type in piano studio or piano studio in katakana, piano stagio. You might get more hits using Japanese, but I honestly don't think the search query will be any different from each other. Alright, and so right away we get a bunch of options. If you click on their webpage, you can kind of get a feel of what their rooms are like and what kind of services they provide. Here are some interesting things I noticed. You can rent recording equipment, such as microphones, stands, and mixers. Some even offer to film the session and make a physical copy for you. Plus, you can contract the studio to help set up a live stream concert. The features vary depending on what room you book. Not all studios are piano studios, but the packages seem pretty comprehensive and very hands-off. Just show up and perform. Also, operating hours can go very late into the wee DJ hours of the morning. Rates will change accordingly, but it's useful for overnight sessions when you have a daytime job or you live with other people. Finally, as I scrolled through the selection of pianos, Yamaha was king! I suppose it makes sense because they are a Japanese piano maker. A weird thing that I did notice was that many studios made it a big deal that they have a Steinway in their stock. And that you can have a chance to try it out, like it's some exotic fruit from across the Pacific Ocean or something. As a filthy casual, Yamaha or Steinway doesn't really matter to me. If it's in tune and the actions are working, any piano will do. I was just surprised by the small kawaii representation. Kawaii, for those of you who don't know, is another Japanese piano maker. When I booked the room, I opted for online booking because talking to people on the phone gives me anxiety. Not that it mattered because I ended up being late for my booking and I had to phone the studio anyway to change it. But at least you can see on the calendar how busy the space is if you were to check online. 
First, you will need to make an account with a Japanese phone number, address, and email address. Then you can pick your time and room, how long you're going to play, for example. Rooms will charge approximately 1,500 yen to about 3,000 yen per hour during the afternoon, depending on the type of instrument you book. You can also request for other equipment like chairs, stands, mics, as I mentioned before. And there may be additional costs, so make sure you check before you confirm the booking. Another thing that you need to check is the cancellation policies and studio usage rules. For example, in this studio, there are cancellation fees. You must leave the room five minutes before your reservation is up. Don't ask me why, that's the rule. Yeah. Honestly, I felt like the pricing of the room is fairly affordable and fair, especially if you're booking between off hours. So lunch and before work ends for most people. If you're booking during peak hours, I noticed that the prices will increase. Now, before I get to the rest of the video, I thought it would be very helpful to take a moment to review a little bit of Japanese that you may need when you are planning to make a reservation at some of these piano studios. Feel free to pause the video to take some notes. Cancel the kiyaku. Kaishi jikoku. Shuryo jikoku. Jo. Yoyaku. Ryo ryokin. Station and trying to find the exit to go to the piano studio. We're above ground. Not exactly the exit that I wanted to get out of, but now I can find my way out. Ah, yatto suita. Ah, kore wa piano da. Sore mo e kamo suite imas. Sugoi ne. Ma kyo. ちょっとちょっと暑いから。つけてみましょうか。わあ。この子はヤマハみたいんです。さヤマハ。いや。Almost exactly like the one I used to have at home. Okay, middle C.
a lot of fun trying out the grand piano. I wish I had more time to try it out. It felt great coming back to the piano after a really big move. And now I'm motivated more than ever to keep practicing and improve. I just need to unpack first. I'm definitely going to find a way to secure more funds to rent the studio again in the future. I'm not sure how I will go about doing it. Maybe Patreon? launch some merch? 
or maybe getting a real job. But let me know if you would like to see more videos with an acoustic piano in the comments below. Huge thanks to everyone who watched till the end of this video. Since I started this YouTube channel, I wanted to make more fun videos of my gaming content on Twitch and videos about music. I'm super ecstatic with how much this channel has grown over the past years. However, due to my move to Tokyo, I have not been able to maintain my content creator commitment of uploading weekly YouTube videos and going live on Twitch consistently. So thank you for your patience with this particular vlog video and past videos. With the possibility of needing to find a job to make ends meet and getting my adult shit together, it will continue to be difficult for me to stay consistent. However, I have a new goal now. If this channel can hit 1k subscribers, I will do a 30 minute live stream piano concert here on YouTube. It would mean the world for me if you guys could help support my channel in any way, whether that is liking this video and subscribing if you haven't already. Alright Panda Genus, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bees! <laughs>